the number 3 has the property that when 4 is added to it, the result is squared, the number is 49. There is also a negative number that has the same property. Form a quadratic equation and solve it to find the negative number. So let's first understand what they have telling the first sentence. The number 3 has the property that when 4 is added. So what are they saying? So if you three, if you add 4 to 3 and then square it, which is nothing but 7 squared, which is 49. That's easy. Now, what they're saying is there's also a negative number which has the same property. That means a negative number plus 4, and then you square it, you get 49. And you have to form a quadratic equation to get the answer. It's not by trial and error. You can do it by trial and error, but uh, they're expecting you to do a, a quadratic equation and then solve it. So this is how you start. So we'll say let the negative number, let the negative number be equal to x. Negative number. We don't know that negative number, so we'll say that is a uh, x. Okay, and then you have to. What they're saying is you add three to it. That means x, that negative number plus three, the whole squared, and you square it, you should get. 49. Okay, so we'll have to expand this. So this is x plus 3. Oh no, x, it'll be x plus 4. You're adding 4 to it. Oops. So you're adding, not 3, you're adding 4 to it to use a smaller eraser. x plus 4. So this will also be x plus 4. So this is x plus 4 times x plus 4 is equal to 49. So let's expand this. So this is using uh, whichever method. So x times x is x squared. Then x times 4 is 4x. Then 4 times x is again 4x. And 4 times 4 is 16. You have to be very, very careful in this step. Okay, You should not be making mistake in simple expansion like this. So to simplify this, so this is x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to 49. So I want to make it a quadratic equation, so I'm going to take away 49 from this side. So you have to take away 49 from this side. So you've got two sides now. So this is one side and this is the other side. So this becomes x squared plus 8x. This is negative 49 plus 16, which is negative 33 is equal to 0. Now you have to find the two factors of 33. So let me write the two factors of 30, negative 33, which adds to give you plus 8. So this is a good way of writing so that you don't make the mistake. So I'll say, well, 33 is 11 times 3. Okay. And you want a positive number. And when you multiply this two, you should get negative. So I'll make this plus 3, plus 11, take away 3. So what are we, sh this, what does this mean? So this means negative, sorry, 11, this is explaining two things. That is 11 or plus 11 times negative 3 is equal to negative 33. That's one thing that should happen. And the second thing is 11 or plus 11, take away 3 is plus 8, or we write only 8. So that's what this is showing. This is telling us two things. One is when you multiply this two, you get this. And when you add this two, you're getting this. And where is this 8 coming from? This is this 8. And this minus 33 is this minus 33. So you factorize like this. This is x plus 11 times x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now to check your answer, you can expand this, you shall, you'll get this. So now you have to use your logic. Now we are saying this is a number and this is also a number. So product of two numbers is zero. So what we are saying is, so generally, suppose if you make it, if a times b is zero, this implies or this means a is a zero or b is a zero. Okay, so using that same logic, I can say, then 
if that is true, I can say x plus 11 should be 0 or x minus 3 has to be 0. And so x has to be, if x plus 11 is 0, x has to be negative 11 and this x is equal to 3. So we've got two answers here. But what did we start? We already knew 3 was, 3 had the property. We are looking for the negative number. Okay, find the negative number is the question. So we can say therefore, therefore, this is the notation, but therefore the negative number, the negative number is equal to negative 11. So let's check whether this answer does make sense. So what are we saying? That negative 11 plus 4 and then square it, which is negative 7 the whole squared. And negative 7 the whole squared is negative 7 times negative 7. Or you can use this on the calculator. I hope you know negative times negative is positive. So your answer is right. So this is how you can check and you can give yourself a smiley face. face.